She is a storyteller, not through words, but through art, whether it's drawings, paintings, or sculptures. Pinky depicts life through color and clay. And tonight we find our Tar Heel traveler in Fuquay, Verena, where Pinky captures her history and heritage. <laughs> The dioramas, it's like you're just capturing everyday life. Everyday life. But there's a story in everyday life. But there's a story in everyday life. There's a background, always a history. It is her own history. Telling a story about what it's like to grow up. She grew up in rural Maryland. I learned how to braid hair by braiding the grass in the yard. She draws, too, the braided grass. She also paints. We would always go for a swim after church. Church? The preacher looks pretty animated. Yes, yes. And they dressed up women wore hats, you know. You don't go to church with a cover in your head. <laughs> <laughs> a hole for a leg with a peg. There we are. Clay figures at a bar. Drinks all around. Let's paint the town. Skin tones are going to be different. But the subject matter is so often the same. It shows the culture of black people. It shows the talent of Pinky Struther. Call me Pinky. I had a wonderful time. A wonderful time recreating her childhood. There was mother and father there in every household. Childhood memories. Pinky has also written a book. She lives in Fuquay, Verena. You got the Carolinian. The Carolinian. This paper was in the heart of the black community at that time. The Hamlin Building. This drugstore was the first drugstore for blacks in America. And it's in Raleigh. And it's in Raleigh. Many of the actual buildings are gone. The house she grew up in. Is gone. It burned all the way down to the ground. All of these houses have been torn down, so they are all a thing of the past. And in some ways, the life she knew has disappeared as well. I think it's a different world. Time changes. And maybe that means new stories. A new world is open to new stories. And there's always a story to tell. There's always a story to tell. In paintings, in dioramas, and in the life of Pinky Struther. Do you feel like you're preserving something in this room? That's why I did it. Oh my goodness, the level of detail. So Pinky Struther, by the way, has never taken an architectural design class. She not only figured out how to build the dioramas, but researched the buildings and created them as accurately as possible. Beautiful. Thank